Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing with these stamps from Brutus Monroe called Beach Time. So there's a surfboard, a beach blanket, a chair, some fun accessories, a shell, a cute little crab, some words, and of course this beachy scene. Now I am also going to play with my aqua pigments today. And I actually have a 12 by 12 sheet of watercolor paper that I had in my stash. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I'm just going to put it out there. I am not, by any stretch of the imagination, a painting artist. Um, I am just a scrapbooker that likes to use what are normally considered card making supplies in their scrapbooks. So I'm taking this stamp set. Now this is the largest stamp in the stamp set. It's basically the beach scene. It's got rocks in the background, some sand, some surf, some waves, the water, all that good stuff. Now I am using my stamp posi positioner tool here and what that's gonna do is allow me to restamp uh, multiple times. So as you can see, um, this stamp set does not span the entire 12 by 12 page. So only thing I do is take it and push it over the edge and now I have it um, as one big continuous page. So I am going to take my heat tool and I'm going to heat set my ink just because I don't want it to run. So I'm going to make sure my black ink is really super dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some of these fabulous aqua pigments and I am going to start off by doing this kind of messily like I'm looking for something like like almost ethereal right like I'm looking for something that isn't going to be how I normally paint in things with aqua pigments and that is usually dark like I usually go for dark I saturate my paper um, I'm, I'm not going for that look this time now you wouldn't be able to tell that because you know the water is looking kind of dark um, but I'm not going for that particular look uh, like I normally do. So I take my aqua pigments and I'm also going to um, mix in some water and I am making mud. Like, but I'm not making the right kind of mud, am I? No, no I'm not. So then I'm like, okay, well let's add a little bit of red. And now I'm like, well, this is too much red. So obviously when you mix all the colors together, you get mud. Um, and my level of mud was not the correct level of mud. So I'm going to take that off and put that off to the side. And you guys, I think it's important to like put those kind of things down. Like when, when the, the regular stuff doesn't happen, like what you think should happen doesn't happen. Like it's, it's not perfect. Nobody ever is going to make their first attempt of making mud on purpose as mud. Now you bet your sweet bippy that I can make mud when I'm not trying to make mud. Um, but you know, when you want to on purpose, it, it doesn't happen. So these rocks are going to be kind of gray with a little bit of a purple tinge because I figured that would be like a good kind of shadow for it. And I just felt like that was the way to go. And then I decide, you know what, my palm trees are going to grow out of rocks. I don't care if that should be sand, if that should be beach. I don't care if my palm trees are growing out of rocks because that's the way I want it to be. So I go ahead and make that happen. Then I'm going to grab another aqua pigment and I'm going to go ahead and put some green down. So now I have made my mud and I am, whoa, I am, this looks like one hot mess, doesn't it you guys? Like I am completely saturating my paper. Um, now I did not gesso before this and I'm not using watercolor paper. So this is really saturated. So I am just going to um, use my drip rag right here. It's just just a white cloth. I promise you it did start out as a white cloth um, that I just use to take care of wet things uh, in the craft room so that it's there. So, but I love how this looks. Like it has kind of that wispy ethereal thing going on, which is what I wanted in the first place. So it turned out right. So I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. I'm gonna do the same thing uh, with the sky, I'm just gonna dobble it down. And like that is magical, you guys, when you dip watercolor down over top of water like that, and it does that little burst. Oh, it's amazing. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and put the blue down as well for my sky. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of turquoise as well, or it might be teal. It's one of those colors. Um, just, just to give my sky a little bit of a different look other than straight blue. So I'm going to have that run off the edge as well. And then you can see it kind of like floats up. So again, it's got this whole ethereal look going to it. So it dries and there it is. And I, guys, I love it. I love it so much. This, this turned out better than I hoped. And you might be looking at that going, daggone Sandy, that is one ugly painted scrapbook layout. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I like it. So as long as you like your project, that's what matters, people. As long as you like your project. I am going to take my two uh, four by six photos here. I do trim them down, or I don't trim them down. I mat them on some vellum, just because I wanted a little bit of a mat, but I wanted as much of that background to show through as possible. And then I decided that I was going to embellish directly over top of the layout. Um, and instead of putting down these phrases, instead of putting them down one by one with an acrylic stamp block, I decided to pull out the stamping tool one more time and then put it on. So I probably should have paid a little bit more attention um, because they're just slightly crooked. Um, so instead of freaking out about that and thinking I ruined my page, I just made the rest slightly crooked as well. So now it looks like it's on purpose, right? So your mistakes, and I say that um, with a grain of salt, take this with a grain of salt, right? Like your mistakes don't have to be mistakes. So now I made them all a little crooked and now it looks like that was my intention the whole time. Um, and then I'm going to take the little uh, bits and bobs off of the stamp set and stamp around as well. So the little conch shell and the, um, the scallop shell and the other little guy. And then I'm going to add some of these acrylic bubbles. Now you can get these in the shop. They sell them in a set of six with a bunch of different colors. And I just think that that just adds just a nice little finishing touch. So now I just need a title, right? Like my decoration is done and now I just need a title. I go into my stash and I pull out these letter stickers and I don't have the proper letter stickers. So my V is going to be an A and my three is going to be an E. And that's just the way it is until these companies start giving us more of the letters that we need. <laughs> so there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this inspires you to try something on your project and maybe make a mess while you're doing it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.